Welcome to the latest Burger King and Tim Hortons earnings report breakdown. After the restaurant brand's international earnings report, analysts have realized there's so much more to love about these multi-brand companies. It was reported that Restaurant Brands International reported a quarterly earnings and revenue that tops analysts' expectations, and this can be attributed to the double-digit same-store sales growth that both Burger King and Tim Hortons saw this quarter. When comparing both the earnings per share and revenue to the expectations the analysts had, it's impressive to see what how positive the numbers were. The earnings per share was at $0.75 cents adjusted versus $0.64 cents expected, and the revenue were at $1.59 billion compared to $1.56 billion expected. Net income of $277 million, or $0.61 cents per share, was reported by Restaurant Brands International, compared to the $270 million, or $0.59 cents per share, that was reported a year ago. And now it's time to explore where this revenue is coming from. Burger King Same Store sales rose 12.3%, which is above the street account estimates of 6.8%. Part of the reason for this growth is because Burger King is actually selling more Whoppers than ever, thanks to the new advertising campaign and Whopper themed jingle that went viral on TikTok. Tim Horton Same Store sales climbed 13.8%, which was higher than the street account estimates of 10.1%. The Canadian coffee chain underwent its own turnaround in recent years to style menu, loyalty program, and upgraded its coffee brewing equipment to improve consumer sales. It's not just Burger King and Tim Hortons that are seeing an increase in sales. Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen reported same-store sales growth of 5.6%, which was higher than the street account estimates of 